Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink, whatever you might like. And we'll have us a little Bible study today, five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. That is Daily Dose Radio. Today we're looking at verses 15 through 17 here in Psalm 86. If you have your Bible there, open it up with me to Psalm 86, and we're going to look at 15 through 17. If you don't or you can't, uh, let me read for us. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. All right, so we have everything. <laughs> we have it all again here in just these three verses. We have the uh, we have request, the supplication. This is the grand supplication of David. We have some more of that great theology of God's character, and we have some more messianic intonations here in uh, in verse sixteen. So let's begin with verse fifteen. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. So here's some more of that grand theology that we've been talking about. It shows us the character of God. So if we go back and we look at verse 5, For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Then look down at verse 10. For thou art great and dost wondrous things, thou art God alone. And then look at 15. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. So what do we know about God? He's good. He's ready to forgive. He is plenteous in mercy. Notice that phrase, plenteous in mercy, occurs twice. Once in verse 5 and then again in verse 15. He is great and he does wondrous things. He's God alone. And if he's God alone, then he is a God full of compassion, gracious, long-suffering, and then we have plenteous in mercy and truth. So all of these things, good, forgiving, merciful, great, does wondrous things, is God alone, full of compassion and grace, long-suffering, mercy, and truth. That's who he is. What a wonderful thing to study here, and what a wonderful way for David to communicate to us exactly who it is that we're praying to. This is who, this is who it is that we're praying to. People who tell you that the God of the Old Testament is just a God of vengeance, they have never read the Old Testament. They don't have any clue about what they're, re about what they're saying because they're just making it up. It's just a talking point. No, God in the Old Testament, as revealed by his men, is a God of Forgiveness, goodness, compassion, long-suffering, graciousness. This is who he is, and he is God alone. So here we have him. He's described for us in this one very beautiful psalm, the grand supplication. Verse 16, we have more supplication. He says, O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Now you remember in Psalm 85, we've tracked that word turn. This, in Psalm 85, the psalmist said, turn yourself. Remember that? To, he is asking the Lord to turn himself from his anger towards the people. And then he said, turn us towards you. Now it goes from turn us to turn me. And this is a turning work that only God can do. Turn again me, O God, and have compassion or mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant you see, this is it goes right at hand in hand with all the other supplication that he's had here. And save the son of thine handmaid. Oh, wait a minute. Who's he talking about? Oh, I think he may be talking about the Lord Jesus here. So now suddenly we go from David to Messiah. Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, o Lord, has helped and comforted me. Again, messianic. So the, he's asking the Lord 
to show him a token of good that those who hate him may see it. And guess what? They did because he was raised the third day. God did help and uh, God did comfort. But not only did he comfort Christ, he also comforts his church because of the resurrection power of Christ. Well, we'll stop right there. I think that's good. And next time, we'll pick up with Psalm 87. So join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.